would like to ask Sheila Reed, Director of the Office of LGBTQ Affairs, to come forward and share with us the mayoral pro proclamation. <laughs> I'm right here. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Let's all breathe. Woo -hoo! Let's give a round of applause to DLA just for being here. say that uh, 10, 15, I've lost track, a number of years ago when I was uh, Vice President Gertrude Stein, uh, we worked very closely with GLAA on a number of things, but I like to think that one of the most important was marriage equality in D.C. I stepped in where my uh, mentor and good friend Wanda Austin left off and uh, joined Stein and, you know, she was fighting with HRC fighting alongside HRC and um, GLA <laughs> to get civil unions and domestic partnerships, sometimes against HRC, let's be honest. And, um, and so I stepped into her shoes, never really being able to fill them. But the, the next thing on, the, on our plate was marriage equality. And I will say that while Stein was great and um, several other organizations I was on the board of were instrumental. I will say GLAA led the fight. Woo! So if any of you are married and you have a same-sex partner, you need to thank GLAA. And Bob right that we have is due to GLA, but I will just um, stop at marriage equality. It goes way back before then, and, um, and it continues after then. So on to, yes, Bob? Uh, introduce us to the bill. All right. And I would like yeah. to thank our Chairman Phil Mendelson, who introduced most of this bill. All right. Now, whoo, whereas the gay and lesbian Activist Alliance of Washington, D.C., known as GLAA, was founded in April 1971 to advance equal rights and social equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning residents of Washington, D.C. And whereas GLAA continues to fight to improve services for LGBTQ individuals, and whereas GLAA has defended Washington, D.C.'s comprehensive human rights law served as an advocate for LGBTQ individuals, been a leader in advancing the rights of, for same-sex couples and their families, educated the public on LGBTQ issues, and worked with the community to advance issues of concern throughout the city. And whereas today, GLAA celebrates its 48th anniversary and is honored to recognize Center Global, Compassion and Choices, and Diego Miguel Sanchez, for their exceptional community service. Now therefore I, the mayor of Washington, D.C., do hereby proclaim April 18, 2019 in Washington, D.C., Gay and Lesbian Activist Alliance of Washington, D.C. Day. Yay. Give them a round of applause. 